Hello, my name is Dr. Beach. Today I want to talk about the two most common causes of neck pain and back pain that we see in our practice, and they're postural problems. In the neck, uh, it's called forward head tilt, and in the low back, it's called sway back. So today, what I'm going to focus on in this video is the uh, forward head tilt in the neck, and then the next video, we'll talk more about the low back and how they connect together. So first, I want to show you what forward head tilt means. I can say it, I can move my head forward, but I want to show you a short video showing how the cervical spine moves in such a way that it brings the head forward. Now, as the head moves forward in that position, the weight as the neck goes forward, the weight of the head, which is about as much as a bowling ball, between uh, about 10 and 12 pounds, the, the weight of the head is then carried ahead of the body. And so if you've ever held a, a, a bowling ball in your hands, and you know if you hold it out here in front as compared to here close to your chest, it gets heavier. It's just the physics that the longer the lever, meaning the arms in this case, the heavier the weight. Um, I've talked about this before in other videos. If you're a lady and you lift your purse up, if you lift your purse up with your arm extended like this, it's a lot heavier than if you lift it straight up this way. So as the weight of the head is carried forward, then the muscles in the back of the neck and the upper shoulders have to, con have to um, contract more to compensate or to counterbalance the weight of the head being forward. And this constant stress that is created uh, puts a lot of tension on the, on the muscles in the back of the neck, creating pain there. But also, because of the weight of the head forward, the weight of the head is now being carried in a different place in the cervical spine. Rather than being carried across the disc, it's now being carried across the front of the cervical spine, which causes microinflammations in the front of the cervical spine, leading to uh, arthritis later on. Now I want to show you another video showing how the forward head tilt relates to the low back because they don't happen in isolation, they happen together. So let's take a look at that. So because these two problems go together. We often see people with back pain and neck pain. They may have one that's more important than the other in terms of their symptoms. Maybe their back hurts more, but when we palpate the neck, we'll find that it's, it's involved as well, or vice versa. So as the sway back occurs and causes the, the weight bearing to go backwards, then the forward head tilt has to occur to counterbalance the, the the center of gravity being behind, or the head being behind the center of gravity, the head has to come forward, causing the forward head tilt. So this forward head tilt is very, very uh, common, very important in chiropractic treatment of neck pain and headaches, because if we allow it to continue, then, we, then the treatment will only be short term. It will be just releasing those tight areas, relaxing the muscles, but then when the person goes back into a weight-bearing posture, they're walking around all day, the head goes back forward again, it keeps coming back. So for chronic neck pain, we see patients with acute neck pain and chronic acute being maybe from an accident or maybe they bent over or did something wrong, you know, slept in a bad position. That's one thing. But for chronic pain, headaches that have been coming on for years or chronic neck pain that's there every day, the person's like this and they feel uncomfortable. Then we look at these postural changes. Now in another video, we're going to be talking about how these changes uh, occur in relation to what's happening in the feet. And I've talked about that in other videos, but I'm going to go more uh, deeply into it. Now another thing about forward head tilt, not only does it create uh, neck pain and headaches and pain in the shoulders, but also over time, it can actually decrease our oxygen consumption. Because as the head goes forward, then the, ch the shoulders begin to round forward after a while. And it starts to close down the chest so that when we inhale, 
our capacity to inhale oxygen into the lungs is decreased. So over time, this type of posture, postural change, meaning the forward head tilt, can reduce our oxygen consumption. As oxygen consumption goes down, then energy goes down, we're not able to oxygenate the tissues as well. We don't have the same uh, ability to detox the tissues, to keep the channels open, and overall oxygen is less, and, and that becomes a problem after a while. So I just wanted to go over this aspect of chronic neck pain and how it's caused, and then in the next video we're going to talk about the swayback aspect and how that creates a lot of low back pain. Thank you.